Hi, in this video I am going to tell you everything about Customize that you should know to work with it confidently. What is Customize? Customize is a tool to customize Kubernetes objects through a customization file. I want to tell you some words about Helm and Customize. In simple words, Helm is a tool to create templates. In these templates we substitute predefined variables. In the end we apply the resulting manifest in a cluster. To learn more, you can watch my video about how to create your own Helm chart. Customize customizes predefined manifests through customization.yaml file. For example, changes number of replicas in the deployment.yaml file. These programs use different approaches and the best way is to work with both. By the way, you can combine them. For example, generate Helm release and change some values with Customize. How to work with Customize? Customization.yaml file is the main file where you set all customizations. In it you set resources that you want to customize. Then you set what you want to do. In the example I want to add a namespace field to the deployment and change an image field. In the end you execute the build command or you can apply a generated manifest to the cluster with customize immediately. Let's look at how to set your customization. A customization.yaml file basically consists of four lists. You can mention that in this file you don't see the namespace field from the previous example. All because the namespace field is a convenient abbreviation for a full configuration that belongs to the transformer type which is specified in the transformers section. Concluding, you can customize your manifests in two ways, the long way and the more convenient way. You can look at examples in both variants on the official website. There are different cases here. For example, how to add annotations or modify the name, text for images and so on. This site is very useful, so check it. Where should you put customization.yaml file? The first way, put customization.yaml file in a directory with the manifests that you want to customize. In a second way, Customize uses a conception of bases and overlays. In the base directory you put manifests that you want to customize and in the overlays directory you put your customizations. This way is convenient when you have several environments. I prepared two examples that can be useful in real life. Let's consider the first example. There are two environments, test and production. I have to install Blackbox exporter in both of them. To do it, I created two directories for each environment. Then I prepared values.yaml files and put them into these directories. The main differences between these files, in the production file there are node select and toleration sections. As you see in the test file, these sections are absent. Then I created customization.yaml files for each environment. I set the Helm chart section to pull and render the Helm chart with my values from values.yaml files. Plus, I set the patches section in the production environment to replace a config map to a secret. You will see it after rendering. Here are the commands to execute the building of the manifests from the Helm chart and then slice the rendered manifest into different files for more convenience. Let's render manifest to the directory named build. As you see in the test environment there will be the config map and in the production environment there will be the secret. We are ready to deploy these manifests in clusters. Let's consider the second example. In it I want to generate a secret with three keys, username, password and link. Values for the keys named username, password will be set from files with the same names and the key link will be set from customization.yaml file. Then these keys from the secret will be attached to pods as environment variables. Let's deploy the manifest to the cluster at once. Let's go into a pod to look at the environment variables.
here they are. That's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. See you. Bye.